Hello and welcome to Lemon Studios where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm of course Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and these are my thoughts on Moon Knight Episode 1. So to give context as to how big of a Moon Knight fan I am, I know nothing about him. Not at all. But I am a Marvel fan. I do enjoy the movies, I do enjoy the shows. Um, I have been keeping up with it for the whole entire time they've been going. Um, <laughs> so I was very intrigued. I always, I kind of look forward to the ones I do not know a lot more than the superheroes that I do know because like all you can do is surprise me. You can't really, you can't really disappoint me because what the hell am I supposed to expect? So this stars Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke, who I love. <laughs> uh, and it seems like he has a multiple personality, personality disorder. Uh, two that I see are... Steven, who is the main one, that is the real sympathetic character that we are like getting attached to. And then there is Mark, who's all about the business. <laughs> and uh, he will take care of what means necessary. Um, if there's others, I don't know. Hell, I don't even know if Moon Knight is another personality or not. If you're a huge Moon Knight fan, comment below. Let me know, because I, I, I am literally completely dark about this. Uh, so, I just love this whole concept of this episode. This is the best first episode Marvel has ever done, to me. Um, my favorite show out of all of the Marvel shows is WandaVision. But even that episode one, I was like, so what are we doing? With this one, I feel like we have a good, good gist of it. Steven has multiple personalities. He doesn't really remember things. He didn't remember asking that girl out. That was probably a Mark's thing, trying to, you know, hook a, hook a man up. Um, and Ethan Hawke is the villain. And that was a, a really, I don't want to say weird or shocking, but it was a lot of different things as a <laughs> type of cold open with Ethan Hawke drinking the water, breaking the glass, and then put his feet in the sandals, and then walking out. I was like, why? Why? <laughs> uh, I am very curious to get to know a lot more about him as the show progresses. Now, and back to Steven, how this just really kicks out like, all right, so this is his life. He ties his, he ties his uh, neck. Uh, not his neck, wow. He ties his leg <laughs> up, uh, and then he has his door also taped, and he has a fish that he always says good morning to. But then he goes to work at the uh, the museum, which I believe is the same museum, well, it's a, it's a uh, famous museum, uh, but it's the same museum that the uh, that the Eternal, that the, the main Eternal works at as well. So, wouldn't be surprised if we see Kit, I, I think we there's a pretty good chance we'll see Kit Harrington in this show. Uh, and he's going to be uh, the knight from Eternals. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see him. But anyway, back to the actual show. Um, he's taped up, and he puts, puts tape on the door, then he goes to work at the uh, museum. And right away, you just see, like, oh, hey. And he, like, he's not really known. The guy says a different name. Is that a different personality? I don't know. Or maybe he just really doesn't know his own name. Because, again, the only names that I know so far are Mark and Steven. His boss sucks. I really wouldn't mind if anything happened to her. Like, like it's just, like, almost not even a person. Like, I, I, if I had to give any real negatives, it's that character. But besides that, I think this episode's phenomenal. Um, and then, you know, he doesn't remember asking the girl out. And then we just go through these different sequences and I just love the use of the songs as well of wake me up like it's all about like waking up wake up your wake up your mind and all that stuff throughout the when he goes to sleep and he's having a dream and that's not a dream and he's dealing the artifact and even talks like give it back and uh uh Steven's like not well yeah but Mark's like no but that was a different voice than Mark so that has to be another personality so I'm guessing Moon Knight is another personality and uh <laughs> And then we just got this whole sequence of he's going to sleep, but then he's like waking up. He's like, I don't know where I'm at. And like, apparently this happens quite a bit because he even wakes up like he's like at work, I think. And then he's on a bus and then he's just like, how did I get here? And he's just screaming. Just found that really cool. No, it was in the elevator of his apartment. 
he screamed and then he, he was on the bus. It was a very, very cool effect. And the use of the mirrors too, and then like just how different Oscar, Oscar Isaac was phenomenal in this episode about showing the, like the vulnerableness of uh, Steven, but like the so seriousness of, of uh, Mark. Uh, I'm curious to get to know who Angela is. I believe that was the girl's name on the phone. Uh, but this episode did its job. I'm ready for episode two next week. Like, I cannot wait to watch it. I am counting down. I cannot wait to see this. Um, and just really curious to see how the story unfolds because, man, that, that was a hell of a first episode. That was a hell of a first episode. Best first episode of all of 2022 and best first episode in Marvel in general <laughs> for the Marvel Studios TV shows, that is. Uh, what did y'all think of the uh, Moon Knight episode? Uh, comment below and let me know if you like this video. Hey, hit that thumbs up button. If you liked me, consider hitting that subscribe button as I try to grow into my YouTube career. And that will be it for me, guys, and I'll see you here next time at Lemon Studios.